Okay, hi everyone. So this first video is just on getting connected. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn both of these um, OSC ins off and we'll start them up from the beginning. So first of all, uh, let's start with the sensor tile. So I believe um, you will have this uh, little bridging app supplied to work with the sensor tile. So if I disconnect my sensor tile, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to uh, unplug and replug the USB connection here. Okay, and we'll see the green, the little red light flashing. When that's flashing, I'm going to hit scan. And as soon as we see um, the number of the tile pop up, I'll hit stop scan, left click on the number and hit connect. Okay, and now if you look at these things here, device port, we've got port 8888. So in touch designer, if I just double click with my left mouse button and grab an OSC in, and I set that to port 8888, hit enter, we can see that that's all connected. Okay, so that's all we need in terms of connectivity for the, um, uh, for the sensor tile. So let's just do the same thing for uh, Touch OSC. So Touch OSC is an app that you can download for, um, I believe, Android or iPhone. Um, but you also need the bridging app from Touch OSC, which you can get from their web website, hexler.net. If you just scroll down to the bottom, you'll see um, download, you know, for Mac, Windows or Linux. And once you've downloaded that, um, you just have to install it. And then if you run it, if I just hit Touch OSC Bridge um, in a hotspot search and hit enter, it's going to just um, start running in the background up here. Now, there's a couple of things you have to do on Touch OSC, which I'll upload uh, on top of this video as screenshots, because um, it's on my phone at the moment. But if I go back into Touch Designer, I'll just narrate this. Um, first of all, when we're in Touch OSC, we need to click on the uh, connectivity uh, button on our OSC monitor, and we get a bunch of different uh, options here under connections. MIDI, OSC and bridge are what we're going to look at. So in MIDI, I just want to make sure that my send port, if I browse, is at bridge one and my receive port is at bridge one. And then if I go back and click on my OSC here, you're going to need to have the IP address of your computer. Um, so, uh, you know, easiest way is to just look in your system settings, find your IP address, pop that in. And also just set a send port that is not 8888 because that's what we're already using. So set that to something else and then you should be fine. Um, and I've got that also set to UDP um, as a messaging protocol. Okay. And then the next setting that we need to check is the uh, bridge setting. And if you hit browse, um, it should, if you've got the bridge running on your computer, um, it should just pop up there as um, as the, the computer that you want to connect to. So you need to set all of those things up on your Touch OSC on your um, phone or, or iPad or whatever you're using. And then basically you go into the, um, the presets. There should be already a bunch in um, Touch OSC. I find one that's called... Um, sensors and I open that and when I hit run I get the accelerometer and gyroscope which now um, if you look here it'll sort of look like this and so now that I've got that running if I add another OSC in here in touch designer and I set that to port 9000 then straight away I'm getting um, I'm getting these values now, there are a few things that um, I find I have to play around with a little bit to get this to work. The main thing is having the IP address from my computer matching what the IP address that my, um, my Touch OSC is sending to. Uh, you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. And if you're on a university Wi-Fi, you might have problems with a firewall that might have been set up by the IT administrator. So if that's the case, I think you can do things like set up a portable hotspot between your phone and your computer, that should work. Um, but for most of this workshop, I think we'll be using the, um, the sensor tile, um, but the, you know, being able to use your phone with touch OSC is also kind of handy. So that's why I've put it 
in this video as well. Okay, that's all for this one, and then we'll move on to the touch designer network itself.